Hello and welcome to our second episode of our FM23 beta save. Here's a quick look at what's coming up in today's episode. Son, Lucas Mora, Kane, or 4 3 3. Want to make sure it's 5 attacking, 5 defending. Just want to have a look at stats. Yeah, vision for me is a little bit low. It's my playmaker. <laughs> I mean, look at those stats. Higher defensive line. Yeah, we want to keep that pressure on and high press. I'm happy with that. If you enjoy football management content and want to watch more videos like this one, then you know what you need to do. Hit that subscribe button. Right, let's get FM in. Let's do our tactics now and then. I don't know what our stamina is like, so at the moment we'll go for control possession and maybe we'll do Gen Gen press away and try and win back possession. Try and get the home team pressured holding that ball. Be an interesting one. 4 2 3 1. I think where people are playing Son, Lucas Mora, Kane, or 4 3 3. Want to make sure it's 5 attacking, 5 defending. Let's see, I've uh, got 5 defending and 5 attacking. Quite like that. Or you could have one of your wing backs attacking where that's inverted, your left back can come up and that's your five attacking. The actual width there, he's going to come in, pull defenders in, give him space. That's going to pull him across for him to come in. Or five up the back, those two join, they go both in. Quite interested with five up back. Yeah, they go both in. And then these are just sitting back, just like in 4 2 3 1. But have we got the players? You know what? We can change it. I'm going to try something different. That looks cool. I like that. That looks very modern as well. And I think when I was Sheffield Wednesday, I played five at the back and it worked quite well until again the patch came out it's fine i had changed it i had to change my way just like when you play fifa you have to get used to one way and then patch comes out and you're like oh okay now i've got to learn this and uh, go with meta of the game okay let's quickly just see how that fits with my players so i'll see loris Fraser foster good backup okay that's fine uh langley so we got a back three and we've got some backups who can go in there okay that could work out quite well a ball playing defender put langley there and then sanchez as a centre defender and then a wing defender but then I don't get Dyer in or Romero but do I need a wide? I don't know why they're playing wide over there when he's going to attack and I quite like my the idea of them both attacking so with that just keep them central I guess we find out because then if I then put in Romero and then you've got Langley Romero what foot are they? he's right and Langley he's left so we need to swap them two round makes sense and then Sanchez in the middle. I like that. That's good. Wing backs. So right wing back. Who we got? We got Basoma, Matt Darty. Okay, Basoma's good there. Competent there. Good stamina. Good acceleration. So if we look at his stats for that role and go attack. Yeah, he could do a job. I mean, look it. Yep, I get a like that. Basoma. Bit out of position for him, but it's fine. And then go back to our left back. We got Perisic. Could do a job there. Or Sasanyon. Sasanyon. Ben Davies. Perisic. Let's have a look at him as well put him in that position oh, he loves it there look going back attack yeah not bad again less pace again not bad stamina okay we like that and then uh got Ro roman playmaker not too sure if we like that I'll keep that for a moment is there anything else we can put in there no no okay all right our defensive midfielder eric dyer maybe oh Hoiberg. what does he like what role does he prefer it's three star ball winning midfielder uh, you know what defend let's have him as a ball winning midfielder Builder. And then uh, Roman Playmaker, Benton Core. He's not really a playmaker though, is he? He's again a good ball winning midfielder. And look, he's better than Hoiberg. Oh no, Possumo is better as a ball winning midfielder. But and if I take him out, Emerson Moyle. Well. Now I've got loads of options for this ball winning midfielder. Could be a playmaker. What's his thing? Work rate vision. Vision's not that great. I mean, if we put him there, let's have a look, let's have a look at the stats. Yeah, vision for me is a little bit low. If I think else isn't bad, balance. A little bit rubbish as well. Oh, this is tough. Thing is, I would have had two centre mids there anyway. Maybe this is a position we need to go to our transfer list with for now. I I'm going to have to leave that clear. I, I can't fit anyone in there really. But put him back in wing back. I like that. It's strong there. It's a strong three with the wing backs pushing forward. They got a bit of support play. So you've got really good wing play there with the middle. 
again, ball up to Kane. Or do we do something like that? Could that work? Can I bring someone in here? Go like advanced playmaker support. Can we bring someone in? Let's have a look at this. Midfielders. So he's out on loan. Uh, filter. Not at club. There we go. Oliver Skip. Ball winning midfielder. That's why we're playing very defensive. Look. Ball winning midfielder. Ball winning midfielder. We have a defensive midfielder and a ball winning midfielder. In front of our front three. We've only got Paul playing and defenders who can come up and join them. Who else we got? He's going to be out wide. Out wide. Brian Gill. No. Carlison, Kane. Anyone in uh, under 21's ability potential? Okay. <sighs> don't have a playmaker. Is this what Tottenham's issue is? Even if I had two in midfield, I don't have a playmaker. Even if I play Cam, don't have that player. Brian Gill, where's he from? Sevilla. That may be there. Uh, again, I mean, great dribbling. Good flair. I want that vision. I want that passing and vision. Someone to create passing and vision. So have a look. The attributes, passing and vision. BBLB, support, passing and vision. Harry Kane is my playmaker. <laughs> I mean, look at those stats. These are for BLP. It's going to have to be Bosoma. I'm going to have to sacrifice that. But Bosoma is going to have to come in. Let's move this back. It's quite like that shape. And have DLP. And that's going to be Bosoma. Ah, it's filtered. There we go. Okay, DLP goes to Bosoma. And then white wing back, Matt Toherty. So at the moment, our weak areas are Sanchez and Doherty. All right, inside forward, it's got to be Son. No questions. And then on that left-hand side, you want Rick Carlison. And then, obviously, the main man himself. It's good front three. Carlison... I mean, he plays that role quite well as a winger. See where he goes. So that is our first 11. Now, I'll keep it balanced because we can move that around. So it'd be interesting how changing it to defensive because obviously last few football managers go defensive. It's just found it just not effective whereas for attacking you're playing positive and attacking is good whereas very attacking is just pointless be interesting to see out what they worked on mentality attacking with i think i'm going to keep it how it is and just tweak it as a seed for game now in all football managers we tend to go counter press counter uh distribute quickly distribute center backs take short kicks distribute quickly uh we don't distribute quickly but it normally is counter press and counter but for this i'm gonna try and when possession has has been one i'm gonna try and not counter I'm just gonna leave it on balance and just see what it does play a couple of games without it do a couple of friendlies without it and a couple of friendlies with could be an idea again you may get a sense of a game i haven't watched anyone's footage because i don't want to lose the excitement now our position oh yeah we got some more stuff here so higher defensive line yeah we want to keep that pressure on and high press i'm happy with that oh yeah and they've changed it how you put it as well much lower lower standard higher so that's still the same then you've got high press mid block low block can we go further yeah prevent short goal kick yeah keep on pressing that defensive line step up more let's read this because this is new step up uh something that we've had step up put into fifa so probably same concept defensive line oh unless it's the line and not per player by the looks of it step up more will ask the defenders to press typically higher up the pitch in an effort to compact for midfield space ahead of them and give the opposition less room and unchallenged time on the ball it can however be more set ball to having long balls played in behind them thing is i'm playing a higher defense line already so when would you want to use that then well if you've gone that and you want even more then it's really compacting it right or if you're playing much lower would you want it just to come up i don't know that's going to be one to play with drop off more vice versa i'm guessing let's read it quickly drop off more will ask for defenders to add Dot. A safety first approach by typically defending closer to their own goal when there's an opposition attacking threat. It reduces the vulnerability of giving up space in behind, but it does concede more territory and invite more pressure. I don't get it. I thought that is kind of set in your line. So what's the point of this when you've got that? Does it give you a fraction of that movement? I don't know. It's going to be an interesting one. Pressing trap. Trap inside asks for team to set a pressing trap designed to funnel the ball into central areas and Forced turnovers in adventurous areas. Our defensive model is quite central. We throw it back into defensive. That's our five defense. Our five attack is very well. Four of our five attackers are wing based. If they try and trap us inside, trap outside, ask for teams to set a pressing trap designed to funnel for ball into wide areas. Pressing trap designed for funnel to funnel a ball out. So that's us pushing, getting it out there. So ideally, we want to trap them to come into us. Yeah, look, you can see it here. I was just in for a diagonal. Because 
because our wing backs are for us to get them forward when they counter us we want them to funnel it through into those middle areas and not play out to their wingers and let's say play middle anyway then that's fine it's just going to be a very combated area and that's where we might have to change our formation to become defending wide and get them play out as wide so that we can try and push and export those central areas that's how i'm reading it if you know more or tried more than me please let me know in the comment section cross engagement stop crosses ask for team to seek to avoid defending crosses into opponent's area instead force in for opposition to find another way to attack invite crosses ask for team to allow crosses in an effort to defend in situations they would be confident on uh, I'll, I'll leave that balanced not too sure on that one yet okay so that's my tactics in our next episode something that we didn't manage to cover today is the squad planner how does our squad look like over this season next season and the season after it's a new feature i'm very keen to check it out so if you don't want to miss that you know what to do subscribe and i'll catch you on for the next one thank you for watching if you'd like to continue your journey check out this video